the Yorkshire Terrier. This lively and inquisitive breed is the smallest dog on our list. Originally bred in the mid-19th century to catch rats in woolen mills, they've since won over our affections and found their way onto our laps. This house in Nottingham is home to Yorkshire Terrier royalty. Rita and her husband John and four very special ladies. Rachie, Bertha, Vileda and Devon. I've had Yorkshire Terriers in my life ever since I was very young and I can't imagine not having any at all. They're our babies. We brought them into the world. So we, we are their parents. John and Rita's beloved Yorkies have brought them glory at dog shows across the length and breadth of Britain. The feeling when you win, it's just fantastic to know that your dog that you've reared and looked after is, is one that's amazing. One of my philosophies in life is happy wife, happy life. Rita's happy all the time because she's got her dogs around her and she's got me doing as I'm told. But looking this good doesn't come easy. Yorkies are one of the few breeds to have hair rather than fur. It's almost identical to human hair. And while this silky, luxurious coat may look beautiful, it's high maintenance. Going to have a shampoo. These four have a strict daily grooming regime. A typical routine includes a shampoo. She just takes it in her stride. A blow dry. She thinks it's absolutely wonderful. And a lot of brushes. Look beautiful. <laughs> Once Rita's worked her magic, her divas are ready to strut their stuff. It's fantastic having a bit of spare time with them to just to, just to lie and relax after after a busy day. I love it when they look pretty. It's well worth the effort. I wouldn't swap these for any other breed. First class. If everyone treated their dogs the same as we do, there would be no dog rescues at all. The dogs would all be very very well treated, and and look wonderful. The most recent statistics show that smaller dog breeds are surging in popularity. Registrations of French Bulldogs have gone through the roof, up from 350 a decade ago to a whopping 9,000 last year. In Liverpool in Britain, two of the top five breeds are Shih Tzus and Pugs. We are seeing a lot of uh, smaller breeds toy breeds, lap dogs. We have dogs being brought in in prams, um, in push chairs, in side coats, where, where the customer who came in once opened his coat and his two chihuahuas, one in each side. The toy breeds are quite easy to keep. They're very, very small. So as far as an owner is concerned, um, they're, they're an easy pet to have. And generally, they live on the owner's lap. They're also so used to having their own way at home. Quite often, they're the boss. They might be the smallest thing in the house, but they rule the house, you know. So they're very yappy, they're very snappy. We've never been bitten by a big dog in here, but we've been bitten by little dogs all the time. <laughs> 